Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is part 25. Last time we found our way finally through to the other side of Ainsel River and Noxtella, the Eternal City. Uh, we've been navigating through basically a lot of the underground area where we've been uh, just doing anything and everything that our lovely Princess Rani tells us to do, uh, and we're still checking out this area. We're we're at the Noxtella Waterfall Basin, so we're about to head through here uh, and see what lies ahead. After that, after this area, who knows? Who knows? Uh, we're going to run through here now and see what lies ahead. It's been very cool checking out the the underground portion of uh, of the lands between, especially especially finding out that there's Nokron and Noxtella, two different parts of the Eternal City that just sit underground. So, so cool. Uh, we haven't pushed into this tunnel yet, so I'm very curious as to what goes through it, because we've seen... We've seen this area briefly when we were... There was a... I think it, we were here. Like, you go through here, you walk there, and you stand there, and it's just this very cursed area. There was basilisks up here and everything. They brought basilisks back, inflicting uh, death upon you. So, it's... I believe this pathway should go to that same area. There's basilisks in front of us, so I mean that... You know, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's it's basilisk time. Pro might be a good idea for me to uh, potentially look at equipping some sort of uh, talisman that'll be good for my vitality. But let me deal with these first. Um. I think it's, I believe the talisman that I am looking for should be, well we can raise our vitality, but I think as long as I, if I equip the mottled necklace, I think it's, Im I think it's immunity? No, because vitality is separate, that raises, okay, so I think I need to equip this one for the Basilisk, so I might chuck that on. We'll take my intelligence down slightly. That's easy done. And then we'll raise our vitality resistance a little bit. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Thou art the last. No! the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh to rend thy flesh no with a fateful wound ne'er to heal no Blythe is the baleful shadow oh, what oh dude what the fuck? What happened? Holy shit. Holy, what is happening to my fucking health right now? That fucking fire on that sword. Holy shit. Oh, dude. Ronnie, you could have given me a heads up that it was going to be him. that fire dude I don't know if it's like if it's black flame I think it's black flame but it's just because it's red so it's uh, <laughs> it, lo it looks like it's slightly different so he's got a black black flame on his sword oh. holy shit man <laughs> oh my god why, dude? 
Whoa! Whoa! He just took a fucking chunk out of my neck. Holy shit. Oh, this is this is insane. My focus is is totally not in this fight because I'm miserable. <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm upset. Dude, we have to fight Blythe. Unless there's another Wolf Knight, because otherwise, wouldn't his name, wouldn't his name be on there? He wouldn't be, like, called the Baleful Shadow, unless he's, like, changed his, sort of... Unless he's just changing his... affiliation? That doesn't make sense. Because, like, Blythe is loyal to Rani. Why would Blythe be an assassin? What was it? An assassin of the two fingers? What did she, what did she say? Um, oh, I don't think I, I wrote it down. Ah, I've let's forget what. She's like, forget what I've heard. The baleful shadow serves the two fingers. Is Blythe a double agent? I feel like if it. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like if it was Blythe, would the name be, like, Blythe Baleful Shadow? Does Blythe have an evil twin? And he's Blythe's Baleful Shadow? I don't fucking... Maybe after we're done with this, because this is what Rani wants us to do, after we're done with this. I guess we'll talk to her at the grace point and we'll find out just who and what the Baleful Shadow is. I feel like if it's, if it's Blythe, Rani will definitely say something about it. She'll go, sorry that I, sorry that I didn't tell you, I didn't want to fucking, <laughs> I didn't want it to be true, but it is. My thanks. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Oh. She said to tell Blythe and E.G. that she loves them. It's not Blythe. It's not Blythe. Oh my god, okay. Unless she doesn't know. But she does know, because she's with us. I'm so confused. Alright, it's not... I'm going to just say it's not Blythe. But we have to go find him. And tell him that... Ronnie loves him, and so do I. And then EG as well. I do need to go and uh, get some, some stuff done with my blacksmith anyway. So... We'll deliver a love note while we're at it as well. Okay, Baleful Shadow defeated. And now she's, now she's like, now I leave, for real this time. <laughs> we have a lift. We'll see if we can talk to her still at a grace point. But I'm taking that as her actual farewell. 
Lake of Rot. Okay. Yeah. We've viewed it from over here. So this is the Lake of Rot. I think when I first glimpsed this area, I was like, oh, I think this is the Swamp of Aeonia that they keep mentioning. Um, but then it, Swamp of Aeonia is obviously above ground over here in Kaled. Can we talk to Rani? No, we can no longer talk to Rani. Interesting. Okay. Well, I've rested at this grace point, so I am now going to go to... Uh, actually, let's... Let's go to EG. Because we'll see if there's any dialogue with him, and then maybe he can give us a clue to the whereabouts of Blythe, because Blythe never found <laughs> Nokron or Noxtella with me. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey. I love his voice. Along the dark path of Empyrean, from Rena's rise, as she calls it. Ah. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. Wow. Wow. So if you talk to EG, he tells you anyway where Rani's gone. Nice. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Don't mind if I do. Somber Smithing Stone 8. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Uh, Summer Smith thing Steven. Don't mind if I do. Um, yes. Yes. Those are the three that I'm focusing on with my Summer Smithing Stone, apparently. Um, I need just Smithing Stone number one for that. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Wow. Lady Rani, along the dark. Now Lady I pray that Uh she loves you by the way. Um, no information on where, on where Blythe is located. Hmm. What happened to our, what happened to our boy? And what's the deal with the Baleful Shadow? And why does it look like him? It's like a, it's like a mimic situation. Do the two fingers were like, let's mimic? Blythe? I don't know. I'm going to assume it's safe to walk on this stuff, right? Except it's gonna, it's rot. Ooh, map for the Lake of Rot. Let's have a look. Interesting. Uh, yep. <laughs> I was like, for a second, I was like, wait, we're not getting Scarlet Rot. Uh, you can't use Torrent. That's the whole point. Okay, instead of raising Vitality, I will greatly just raise everything else with Mottled Necklace. Um, I... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I got so distracted with uh, the whole deal with uh, the Baleful Shadow and Rani's dialogue that I, we didn't read. We got a key. Discarded palace key. Key to a treasure chest for carrion princesses. A key discarded by Lunar Princess Rani alongside her very flesh. Opens a treasure chest passed down to carrion princesses. It is said to be found 
Oh, it is said to be found in the Grand Library of Rey Lucaria with her mother Renala. Oh. Oh, that's that chest. That's the chest that's right next to her. That's how you open it. Interesting, so it's tied to helping out Rani. And she gives you the key to the chest. Hello. Popping in real quick just for this bad boy. Nice. It's the Dark Moon Ring! What? Where's Gwendolyn at? It's the Dark Moon Ring. Okay. Is it a talisman? It'd be a key item. I was wondering if it would be like a, a reference and you could wear it as a... Wear the ring as a talisman. Because right, um, I totally got too excited and didn't even look at the the icon <laughs> uh, there it is oh wow I didn't realize that this changed the chilliness is gone feeling now like an empty husk there is no response ring depicting a leaden a leaden god I've never read that before a leaden full moon what is that word hold on real quick what is that word? I say like I would say leaden. Dull, heavy, or slow? Yeah, like lead, leaden. Okay, uh, a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Luna Princess Rani to her consort. To her consort, you say? Rani is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would, by rights, earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. So she gave us a key to a ring so we can get married. <laughs> hey guys, we just became Luna Princess Rani's consort. Maidenless no more, baby. This is what happens when Melina neglects us for too long and doesn't talk to us at a point of grace. We end up falling in cahoots with a snow witch. <laughs> Dude, the Dark Moon Ring. Nice. So it's a key item, which means we've got to use it for something. Uh, do you have anything to say about it? Ah, now, is it thy wish? No. Be not alarmed. I would birth. Okay, she's just focused on sweetings. She's just focused on sweetings and sweetings alone. Um, we have a dark moon ring. Oh, the lake of rot is, yeah, the lake of rot is right underneath. Wow, that's interesting to think about. Right underneath Rhea Lucaria. Crazy. Okay, so, have I got enough of these? Because I'm going to need some of these. I've got four. I can only make two because of the sacramental buds. I'm going to do it. All right. We're going to need that to alleviate our Scarlet Rock build-up. <laughs> um, have I got anything else that I can use? I can do one that temporarily boosts even more. I just know we're gonna be we're gonna be walking on some rot for ages because there's an item over there. There's an item there. We can't use torrent. All right, let's just see how we go. Oh god, all that for an alien butterfly. God, look at how fast your health goes down. Somehow we got given something much worse than uh, than poison. <laughs> we got given something much worse than poison. I'm gonna just be busting through these like no tomorrow, dude.
Oh god. Oh yeah, and then after that, after that, you have to deal with this shit. I've already used three of them, three of my. I might need to go and grind for some sacramental birds, so I can, uh, so I can craft some more of these. There's not a whole lot of safety. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of safety. to see if I can keep myself alive. Is that a giant... Please don't tell me that's like a giant enemy in the middle of this place. What is that? What is that? Is that a dragon? Oh, we have to do something with this? There was another one of these that I saw. Okay, we need to sit on these to give ourselves platforms. Nice. Uh, that looks like a boss. And that's why there's some platforms up near it. So we're going to ignore that for now. Until I can get some more of these platforms happening. And maybe a grace point. Some smithing stone eight. All right, no more flasks. Oh, nice item. Where are we? Okay, it's not like the biggest area in the world. This is definitely a fight, though, right? gonna be like some rot dragon bullshit. That's gonna suck. Because I can't use torrent. Okay. <gasps> it's the Xanthus crown! We got the mushroom crown. Mushrooms are found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms from a towering headpiece raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. When something nearby, but not ourselves. Long ago, great lords served the scarlet rot. Perhaps such fungal bodies served as their crowns. Ah, yes. <laughs> it is me, fungal boy. Imagine if this made you, like, immune to, like, poison and rot. That would be cool. Oh, I should have just fast traveled. Should have just head back, head back home. Damn it! Why have I done this to myself? I'm about to get killed by my own fucking stupidity in a sec. How weird is that? It's like the corpse is frozen. I need to head back. Otherwise I will die. I will not make it. Okay. <laughs> Big Hat Samurai. Um, Alright, here's another one. Which will give us some platforms. Ah! 
Nice. All right, I think there's actually <laughs> a pathway to, to take, which is nice. Rock grease. Ah. Stop that. Why are they hanging off the edge like that? They're just hanging there, menacingly. Alright, can I, I'm gonna definitely get Scarlet Rot again, aren't I? Ugh. Imagine if you were in the air and it delayed it. That'd be nice. Hey, yeah. Alright, we're just gonna make these runs. Ooh. Holy shit. So there's just like, there's just like one random, like, warrior dude in the middle there as well. Pain. Oh, here's another one. Covered in rot. So that's where we're going, that's the entrance. Nice. Um, doesn't really give me a way up though, does it? Okay. I guess there's some platforms that you can stand on. Down the bottom. What's the deal with up there though? Some more, just one. Just seeing if there's a grace point. There it is. Lost grace discovered. All right. Grand Cloister. Oh, of course there's items at the bottom of the waterfall too. Now. What was the point of raising this? Here's another one. Ah, no, fucking. Maybe this will give us some stairs. Oh, it just takes us up. Okay. Now we're up here. Okay. But why? What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. It's one of you. Alright, we... Nothing that I haven't faced before. Whoa! Don't throw me off the cliff. Alabaster Lord Sword. Alabaster Lord Sword. Great sword forged from a blue white meteoric ore. The blade conceals gravity manipulating magic. A weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who were said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. 
thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, it pulls enemies in. Has a greater area of effect than Gravitas, so it's... They literally say... They literally state it to you that, like, this is better than your Meteor Katana, goddammit. <laughs> and there's an item up here, too. So we did that for a unique fight. Somber Smithing Stone 9. Nice. Really curious about the fact that there's just one of the of them. I'll have to go take him out as well. Okay. Uh, is there anything else before I jump down? Because I don't I don't know if this is a one way trip or not. Looks like we can go through there as well. Alright, let's drop. Ah, oh, oh, it would be a lift, wouldn't it? We can just go back to this thing and, like, take it down. Would it be a lift? Feels like it would be a lift. Maybe. Are you a lift? No, you're not a lift. How do I get down? Is there a safe uh, ladder? Ladder! Oh, this is actually up on a. Ah. Ah. Okay. Come here, you fuck. Song of Smithing Stone 6. Alright, we're gonna see what this is in the middle here. Trying to see if I can lock on from a distance. Oh, it looks like a dragonkin. It's a dragonkin soldier. But is it? I'm waiting for it to get. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a dragon, but a dragonkin, right? Oh, God. Nope. Yes. It is a dragonkin. Okay. Oh, are they? Oh! Oh, that's my health you're talking about. Ah, I'm gonna get rot! Please, I have a family. Ah! Fuck's sake. <laughs> Dragonkin. We love him. We love him. There you go. Okay, so Dragonkin soldier. Got to fight it in a rot swamp. That's fun. Fun and enjoyable. Alright, we're just going to focus on doing as much damage to it as possible, as quickly as possible. Which means I also might switch to using Bloodhound's Fang. But we'll see. We will see. The journey over to it is... something else. Technically we're closer to it here, but... I think I am better taking it on when I can craft myself some more uh, preserving uh, boluses. Of which I cannot craft any right now. So, we're going to just leave that alone. I'm going to go into this thing, though. God, it just goes up so quickly. 
just want to be like, can I just... Because you can't equip both. Is there clothing that has um, a natural immunity to rot? Not immunity, but like resistance to it. Immunity is this is the this is the thing I don't know I know that vitality relates to death focus relates to madness I think immunity must be poison and then is it robustness but then okay it's just a misunderstanding that I have I guess I'm not particularly sure this has 99 robustness let's stick on Radan's armor to test this out, because it's got some robustness. Considering it's it's in the lore about Radan and his lovely fight with the Rot, that still goes up really fucking fast, so I don't know if it's that at all. What the hell is robustness for? You're robust, so maybe you're resistant to being frozen? I don't know. There just needs to be sacramental buds in the lake of rot, not faded early flowers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going up. That feel that doesn't feel like it's going up any slower. All right, it's just a chest in here. No matter what, twenty-two. No matter warrior's cookbook. Twenty-two. Sorry, just give me one sec. My dog's barking like crazy. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. Dog has a... Mortal enemy. Codenamed the Whippersnipper. Doesn't like gardening tools. Um, I... Totally did lose my track of thought. So, whatever we were talking about... Was probably something to do with... Robustness and resisting scarlet rot and yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, let's move on. Um, sorry, slight distraction has totally derailed the whole the whole thing. Uh, let me put my normal ship back on and then we're gonna go down this pathway. So this isn't tied to what uh, this isn't tied to what Rani wants us to do because this is after the Baleful Shadow, but this is something else entirely. But the defeating the Baleful Shadow gave us um, defeating the Baleful Shadow gave us the the key to the ring. <laughs> also, I think it <laughs> It should be mentioned that I think <laughs> I forgot that I had Scarlet Rot. I just realized that I've just started spawned at the Grace Point. <laughs> ah, so I got I got killed. What a what a hell of a time to pause the game when you can't pause. You're like, oh, I've got rot and I don't want to waste uh I don't wanna waste my time. I don't have any way to heal my rot right now. So we're in a perfect location when you can't heal your rot in a place filled with it. Okay, looks like we can drop down there for a for a centipede. Oh, it's these guys again. Okay. Interestingly enough, we have the the curse mark of death, which is in the shape of a of a, the centipede. Room 10, okay. What's in the Grand Cloister? Let me read the description for the Golden Centipede again, actually. K. 
kept as a fetish by the Golden Order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. They're found near churches and similar. Oh, that fucking wind-up attack. I'm desperately just dodging to fucking heal. How did I not get killed there? That was just... That's one of my, like, least favorite attacks in in all of FromSoft, I think. That thing. Just that thing. Like, it's one of my least favorite attacks ever. Ever in history. Just infinite homing needle things while they also have, like, a follow-up physical attack. Really not a, into that one. Can I just make the jump if I just drop down here? <laughs> Why can't I just fall down? Right. The better question is just don't die. That's what you need to do. Just don't die. So that's how we get the items at the bottom of the waterfall. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> nope. 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 I got no way to heal my Scarlet Rot. I'm in a hurry. Oh. Ah. <laughs> They did it. Miyazaki, you madman, you did it. You made something worse than poison swamps. Rot swamps. With rot monsters. Scarlet Rot is objectively, like, probably the worst status, status effect that we've been gotten next to Dark Souls 1 Curse. Like, Scarlet Rot is just insanely hurtful. To me in the game and in real life. Physically and mentally causes me anguish. That's the worst fucking attack ever. How quickly do they react to getting hit too? See that? Like... I think... The part of the... The part of the, the game that gets me fucking tilted the most is Kaled and anything to do with Rot. That... That sets, that sets me off. I found my weakness in this game, and that is, like, abundantly clear in uh, episode 21. 20, 21, and 22. This playthrough is anything to do with an area that's red and filled with these fucking things is my fucking weakness. Oh my god. They actually get me so angry. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't like them. I'm going to also take this opportunity, while I'm getting upset at these enemies, to address address the like that period of time of episode 
20 to 22 is negative emotions are natural things to feel and I get a lot of people that start commenting oh no he's he's not enjoying himself that means he's not gonna like the game that's not how that works emotions come in waves if I was constantly positive and like happy happy positive all the time it would be fake and it would be exhausting uh, you get how I feel because emotions come in waves. I, I don't feel like I should have to explain that, but I get a lot of people that associate a period of negativity with overall negativity, and it's just not even closely related. I'm allowed to have a moment of annoyance or anger, which is a natural feeling in response to especially a game like this. It, it Everyone has it. I'm sure you all have it too, but I have a lot of people that comment that kind of stuff and that's what annoys me, not the game. <laughs> so allow me to experience a period of negativity because it would be unnatural for me to ignore that stuff and just, you know, always be a bright beaming light of happy happy. It doesn't work that way. Um, just because I might be in a section that annoys me or upsets me doesn't mean I'm going to dislike the game overall. It means I'm going to be like, man, that area sucked. I feel that in every single FromSoft experience of, man, that area sucked. It just, it just happens. It's part of it. It doesn't mean I hate it, okay? Slight rant over. Allow me to experience emotions that are available to the human spectrum, okay? <laughs> because all of my anger is stored up for these things. I feel like they're specifically designed... They're specifically designed to make you cry. <laughs> like, they've got a weapon that has incredibly long reach. They have homing missiles that curve around pillars that you hide behind. They have... They can swoosh around you and dodge all of your attacks so easily and so quickly. And... They, you are almost forced into fighting them because if you decide to try and run past them and skip them, they've got that stupid homing missile attack. <laughs> it, every Everything that they are is like almost invented to upset you. So yeah, anything, anything tied into... If there's a, a red misty environment, we're screwed. And we've had that. We've had that... Uh, given to us, I've had that information given to us since episode one, when I accidentally ended up in, in Caleb. You know? These areas are just cursed. So here we go, I'm gonna run through here. Oh, there's another... I got stuck on the environment. I got stuck on the environment. So, there's, a, there's another coffin for us to get into. I saw that coffin on the on the on the edge there. Scorpion stinger, hey. All that for a scorpion stinger. Are they going to leave me alone so I can check it? Or are they slowly? They're slowly coming in. Let's see. It's a dagger. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail, glistening with scarlet rot. A ceremonial tool used by heretics, crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Repeating thrust. That's cool. So scorpions exist in the Elden Ring universe, so when are we gonna when are we fighting against a scorpion? Is my question. <laughs> it's gotta be in. It's gotta be in the game. If there's a scorpion stinger, there's a scorpion. Unless. All the scorpions were hunted to extinction. Yep, it's another one of these bad boys. There we go. Okay, no no more. No more rot, please. <laughs> no more rot, please. Just let me rest in my coffin forevermore. The concept of coffin traversal is an interesting one. Last time we were going up, now we're going down. We gotta put a lot of trust in this coffin. Boop! <laughs> Use the coffin to break our fall. 
naturally. So we're going down deeper. Even deeper. Into the earth. But this looks kind of beautiful and not rot-like. Where are we? I was expecting to go deeper into hell. Where's this? Looks nice. I could hang out here. There's no rot to be seen. Why is it battle music instantly? I can't even open my map to see where I am. Is it normal to have... Should I have... I think the battle music is glitched. From the enemy encounters. From before the coffin, right? Because... Why is it playing that music? I can't open my map. Um, my instant assumption is that it's just glitched com the the game to think it's we're in a combat encounter and we're not. Those enemies are at the waterfall right now going, you cannot fast travel. There are enemies nearby. I guess we'll just run. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there's no grace point, and there's no fucking map. Maybe you're just not allowed to open the map. Maybe there isn't a map for this area. That, that could also make sense. Okay. Who's in this beautiful looking area? What the fuck? Astel, natural born of the void. Hi, void laser. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's a massive version of the these fucking things. Okay. Great first attempt. We looked at it and died. We looked into the void, and the void stared back. <laughs> oh, there's a stake of America. Okay. We looked into the void, the void stared back and said, Fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Now, we've read about... We've read about this stuff. Wow! <laughs> Fucking Freezer's death beam over here. Wow. Okay. I think, uh... I think he's upset that we killed two of his friends already. Wow. Look at the... This is one of the... coolest designs, though. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at those wings. It's so beautiful, yet so terrifying. Like, it's face. Oh, that was close. I don't- oh! That- no wonder I'm not healing. I've got my different flask- <laughs> I've got my different flask on, holy shit. Oh god, the eye. The eye. Huh? Dude, this is... This is crazy! Whoa! Oh, fuck! It's eating me! It's eating me! I'm dead. That was a jump scare and a half? Holy shit. Okay, natural born of the void. This is like... They really just took every aspect of so many different FromSoft games and went, here's all of them. Here's all of them. Here's your Bloodborne Cosmos, baby. 
Pressing B as you get hit is always fun. <laughs> Do you reckon Abritus and Estelle would get along? Oh, that is, uh, or that also does damage. Okay, that's not just a straight disappearance. Alright, my reaction time is poor today. My reaction time is poor. I'm pressing B as I'm getting smacked. <laughs> Couldn't help that one, I was in the middle of an attack. Ow. The weird bubbles! Oh god. Ow. Spiky tail. You're really spamming that one, aren't you? Oh, that tail takes like no damage. Okay. It's so cool. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, there's not, not much I can do about that. How did I not get hit? I can't struggle to avoid that one when I'm close by. Okay. Alright, where the fuck are you? There you are. Ah! Ah! I, dude, I totally was... Even being on the lookout and even dodging did not do anything for me there. This is a fun fight. Ah, oh, cool. I can activate the map now. There you go. Huh? Something. Yes! That's how you get up here! Nice! I like how it just lines up perfectly on the map to be like, okay, where are we in comparison to above ground? That is a lift. That's how we get up there. That's exciting. We're finally being able to get up there after we defeat Estelle. Cool. We gotta go up the the amazing space lift. Oh, I might need a medallion to do that though, right? I think it might be the medallion that I haven't completed yet that I might need. I mean, we'll see. Reaction time improving. What are you doing, bud? actually uh, I think the bl the bleeding worked I think that was bleeding wow I did not expect it to be eligible for a bleed just sprint in a direction and avoid damage thank you Hit me. What? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, change up your attacks, dude. That's fine. 
Oh god, it's gonna do the grab, isn't it? <gasps> There's a follow-up to the grab? Where are you? Okay. <laughs> this is so sick, dude. Holy shit! Sprinting through a meteor shower like it's just my fucking bread and butter. I was a bit too close for that. Let me hit you. Why are you just standing there? Why did he let me get so many hits in? I was anticipating an attack that it confused me. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yes. Remembrance of the natural born. That's really fucking cool, dude. That's really fucking cool. Dude. That's so interesting. Oh, I didn't realize that the maps have... I've ne we've never read the maps. The maps have lore. Why didn't I think about reading the maps? I also forgot to read the cookbook. Oh, it was the cookbook 22 that we picked up. And that's when it... <laughs> Guys, I remembered. My brain worked. Nomadic Warrior's cookbook is what we picked up in the chest. Uh, rot pot, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. 22 is what surprised me. So we, we, the last one we got was 16. All right, I remembered, guys. Go me. Go me. <laughs> uh, let's read the, the remembrance. That's what we're here for. Of the um, natural born. A malformed star born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an internal city and took away their sky, a falling, uh, a falling star of ill omen. Interesting. Let's have a read of these maps, dude. A great lake of standing water downstream of the Ainsel River, it is said that the divine essence of an outer god is sealed away in this land. Well, <laughs> that is true. We just killed it. The vast region is said to be the grave of civilizations that flourished before the Erd Tree. The dragons that escaped the Scarlet Rot made a nest of the plateau to Caled's north, thus it was named Dragon Barrow, and none dare to enter. Dragon Barrow is cursed. <laughs> Caled, known as the locale of the last battle between General Rodan and um, Melania, Blade of Mikella, is a vast land of consumedly marred by Scarlet, lo uh, Scarlet Rot. Interesting. The western coast has always been closely associated with Carrion royalty. Cool. Should have, should have uh, realized that you could read those ages ago. It's taken me a bit of time. Now, these medallions. We have... The secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Mikella's Halig Tree. Is this going to be the Grand Lifter of Roll rolled through here? That'll take us up to this place. Only one way to find out. That was a gorgeous fight. It's such a well-designed boss. That it just looked so fucking cool. It looked so fucking cool, man. Natural born of the void. All right, let's level up. Oh, 
Actually, you know what? I may as well just ingest a rune to uh, to level up once more as well. Oh god, of course it's not enough. Of course it ain't enough. Watch this not be enough either. <laughs> oh, just enough. There you go. Get myself to 30 intelligence, and then I'm not sure what I want to bump up from here. We'll see. Let's find out if we can activate this lift or not. Oh, okay, it's just a standard, just your standard everyday lift, so that's fine. It's not a grand lift, just a normal lift. I didn't know what to expect. It felt like it might have been. I know that we've already gotten information in the past of them giving us a direction and telling us where things are. There's been a lot of information in this game, though, so it's, it's hard to retain it all, so... I don't have everything in my brain to access at one time. <laughs> especially... Uh, especially... Considering how long we've been playing for. The Moonlight Altar? The Moonlight Altar? Whoa. A tower out there. Another converted tower for us to check out. That's crazy. Love that there's just it's just opened up like this whole new area above Leonia now, because that's like this is still a pretty significant chunk of of area that we haven't gotten to explore yet. Look at the shards of light coming out. The Lunar Estate Ruins. Oh, we're getting into some cool moon stuff. Okay, the light disappears when you get close to it, I think. It's like a rainbow. Yeah, look at that. You can't see the bottom of the rainbow. Let's check out the Lunar Estate Ruins. What the f- Oh, no! <laughs> No! Not one of these things! Get out of here! I don't even ever want to look at you again. You ugly, gross piece of crap on the bottom of my shoe. No, thank you. Okay. Lunar Estate Ruins. I'm looking for the entrance. Oh, it's... <laughs> Yeah, cool. Stone Sword Key gave it away. Another illusory floor. This is our second ruins that have had an illusory floor. The Cerulean Amber Medallion plus two. Nice. Nice. It's so much bigger. Vastly raises maximum FP. I love how, this is so funny to me, like, this one gives us four points, and this one gives us an extra three points, and it's plus two, not even plus one. Vastly raises maximum FP, and it just goes up by seven. <laughs> You'd think that it would go up by, like, I don't know, like, 15 or 20 or something like that, you know what I mean? Especially when it says vastly. The Earth Tree's old sap becomes amber. Oh, this is just the same description. That's okay. And it's just the same description. Okay. 
So that's the lunar as Do you mind? I'm busy. Okay, so that's Lunar Estate Ruins. Is this also the Lunar Estate Ruins, or is there a secondary ruins right next to it? Oh. Hey. Hey. That enemy should should not exist. For all intents and purposes, that's <laughs> that's it's not not enjoyable. These ruins are so because when the the icon's there, it almost makes you feel like there should there might be more. They got turtles up here. How did they get up here? Hey, how did they get up here? Aha! Uh -huh. There was more. There was more! There was... Uh, this changes everything. There was two illusory floors. Smithing stone eight times three. Nice. It keeps being daytime <laughs> when we're leaving the thing, but then I guess the area is scripted to be in moonlight, so it just like quickly goes, oh, quick. It's, it's moon outside. So we've got our, I guess, our main attraction up here. We've got some ruins over there. We can go all the way down here for another tower. And then there's something over there as well. Fitting that this area of the moon overlooks Leonia. Wow. Is, so I'm assuming this is going to be a Church of the Moon. This is where Rani and I are going to get married. With the Dark Moon Ring, right? <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm, I'm, this is where I'm set, this is where I'm planning the wedding, Rani. Cathedral of Manus Celis. Celes. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Starlight Shards here. Now I can actually buy those puppets <laughs> from Celibus. What else do the Starlight Shards do? They use to gradually recover FP. Holy crap. Underground? Underneath? Lost Grace discovered. Okay. Still not able to talk to Melina. Can't talk to Rani because Rani's doll has gone cold. around hello uh, hi Glenstone dragon Adula hello there Look where you're jumping, guys! <laughs> oh, shit. 
Look where you're jumping before you try and uh, jump out of glinstone fire. That's uh, that's just my advice. Feel free to take it. <laughs> okay, so the guard, the dragon is guarding the uh, the front door. Where did we jump off? That's funny. <laughs> Oh! Oh! That's what that is. Yeah, you kill that animal. Yeah, you kill me too. I, f I totally assumed that it was going to do the fire attack when it goes forward, not backwards, and I just... I ran right into it. That's, uh, that's what happened there. That's it. <laughs> no other explanation. Alright. Let's get this dragon so we can get ourselves... get ourselves another dragon heart. So our eyes can just essentially glow yellow with madness, essentially. Smack. 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 <laughs> and that, my friends, is why we don't bother attacking the legs and tail of a dragon. We've come a long way since Dark Souls, when I all I would do in those games is just smack the tail. Not realizing how good it is just to hit the head of a dragon. Best way to fight a dragon is head on. With a katana that can only sometimes reach it. <laughs> God, I love the trees coming down during the fight. It's such a neat touch, dude. I didn't even know, see that until it was too late. What the fuck? He just crystal bladed me with his mouth. Oh, that's so sick. Yep. Rest in peace, my horse, for the second time. The Moonfolk Ruins. Yep. Let me just get in on that real quick. Holy shit. to make sure I don't fall off the fucking cliff again. Yeah. Ah! Press the wrong button! Oh god, there's that thing again! Holy shit. Oh god. Game. Don't do that. Okay, I've learned my lesson from last time. It went out of bounds, but as long as I don't fucking be an idiot and heal at the grace point. enemy felled 120k Dragonheart 3 and Adula's Moonblade Adula's Moonblade hmm. 
Ah, you were by my side all along. Conjures a cold magic greatsword, then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a blade-like projectile of frost. A duela, a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Rani and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. So this area is naturally being moon related. Also tied to Rani. That's cool. The Moonfolk Ruins. Right, are these gonna be is this gonna be an illusory floor as well? Let's see. Oh, we've got traps. Where are you? Living. Surviving with no health. What the fuck is... Why is... Why is the... Why is the place blowing up? Why is it falling apart? Here it is. Yeah, it's all illusory flaws in this place. Somber Smithing Stone, number eight. Nice. But now my now my life is over because I'm I'm I've been ruined by the fact that there was two entrances. Oh damn. There was two entrances in the previous one, so now I'm just like, well fuck. What if there's more? Same can be said for previous catacombs. Not catacombs, previous ruins. Oh. That's that's all that crying I can hear. Just be the one for this area. Okay. Let's go into this big old room here. Now, apparently, we're going downstairs. And then we'll go consume some more dragon hearts later. Cathedral of Manus. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me level up first. That'll probably be the smart idea. I'm carrying big money on me right now. Yeah, we're scaling better with intelligence right now because of Moon Veil, naturally. Decks up to thirty five. I know that I could cash in so many of my runes right now uh, to to level up, but I am actively choosing not to. I think we... Yeah, that's fine. That's a tiny drop.
What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude. That's a giant two fingers. Is this Rani? It is too. This is where she went. She's got the ring on. Whoa. Okay, so... Damn, that's gnarly. So... She gave us the key to get the ring after defeating the Baleful Shadow. Then we go through the Lake of Rot. We proceed through this area, take out Estelle. Rani has gone through here, back up to this place. Wow. Where ring? The massacred two fingers. We getting married, baby. She disappeared. Oh, hello. Do we revive her? Bring her back to life? What? Hey. Cause she's a she's a doll. Like those are all like those are the str like rope string holding her together. Like breathe new life into the doll of Rani, the body. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Yeah, we're gonna have our honeymoon, babe. All right, holy shit, what? Oh, so the path of, the path of the Lord. There you go. So she's basically telling us, okay, Go, go do what you're supposed to do now. I'll see you later. For our honeymoon. Holy shit, it's the Moonlight Greatsword. Dark Moon Greatsword. Of course we'd get it related to all of this moon shit. There you go. A Moon Greatsword bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition, one of the legendary armaments. Rani's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and this sword is but a beam of its light. Unique skill, Moonlight Greatsword. Raise the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the dark moon, temporarily increases magic attack power, and imbues blade with frost. Charged attacks release blasts of moonlight. Ah, you were by my side all along. I need 38 intelligence. Well, well, well. Uh, we're going to put on our... Uh Stargazer heirloom, which takes us up to 35. Um, ooh, baby. I know I can't put it on yet, but I need to see it. That's so cool. By guiding moonlight. <laughs> 
Dude, this is fucking nuts! What a fucking dream. I just got married. And this time she's... Actually, she's kind of not alive. I keep marrying dead people. Dark Souls 3, get married to a dead person. Elden Ring, get married to a dead person. <laughs> oh, God. Bloodborne got married to a doll. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's crazy shit. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna, I actually am going to level up my intelligence to 38 now. I, I was like, oh, I'm holding off leveling up. But now I have a good reason to level up. I'm sitting on like 14, 10 golden rings. How much does it give us by doing... I think it's like 5,000 per one. So let's just, let's just do the big cash in. 70k. I need to level up three times, so I need like 120k. I might not be able to get the three levels right now. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get three unless I cash in one of the big one of the memories, but I'm not going to do that. We'll just level up twice for now. Oh, oh, we're now at 49,000. Never mind. Shoot. I can wear my. I can wear the hat. To increase my intelligence to 38 or to 41. Yeah, I can wear the hat if I really want to. And now I can. <laughs> so sick. Awesome. I love that. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can... I should be able to just get myself up to one more level. There you go. And then I guess when we, when we kill our next boss, we'll be able to have our intelligence sitting nicely and comfortably at 38 uh, with that talisman on. Nice. That was so cool. So I, that's what we used the Dark Moon Ring for. So we no longer have that in an inventory, right? I still need to figure out who this belongs to. A special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. Gold and silver intertwined. I have an idea about that actually. Hold on. Gold and silver intertwined. Your gold and silver intertwined. Ah, hello there. What can I do for you? Is it your dagger? Yeah, it's your dagger. The black stuff must be because you hunt those who live in death, huh? It's his! Just round the corner. Fia couldn't just, like, stand up and walk around the corner and give it to him uh, herself. <laughs> well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? I've been hugging women. Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Oh, it's not yours. But you know who it belongs to. Huh. Well, that changes things. I can't even talk to you about it anymore. Did you need some? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> okay. I thought it might have been his. He's going to return it. 
I guess maybe we'll leave and we'll come back and journey to the cat two thing you maybe. And we'll see. Okay. Uh, I've got a ball bearing, bell bearing, sorry, to drop off. The ghost form one. I get annoyed with this menu because every time you pick one and you back out, it takes you back to the top and I always expect to be where I last was. It's very strange. So we can now buy up to Ghost Glove Wart plus six. Maybe I should take this opportunity to strengthen some of my ashes. I'm going to strengthen the Mimic tier while we're, while we're here. May as well, um, may as well do that. Fancy some spirit tuning. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Yes. My mimic tier, please. So it only costs one of each, which is nice. Okay. Well, we've been sitting on these for so long now. <laughs> been sitting on these for the longest time. May as well use them. Oops, I meant to go the other way. That's right. Greeting, are you here for... 6,800. Alright, won't be able to afford that anyway yet. So we've got Mimic Tear Ashes plus five. Well, I took you for no matter. It's lay out your arms then. Oh, I've got an idea. Well, what I'll, what I'll do... Is... We'll speak to Fia first, see if there's any dialogue in relation to the dagger. I am pleased to see what you like now. And then if not, I'm going to potentially leave and come back and then do the same thing. <laughs> and see if maybe see if maybe I just needed to leave and come back. Then good day. Okay. Good day to you, my dear. So we got the blessing for nothing, so that's okay. She's like, ah, you're looking very, very handsome and st stony faced today. Okay. Maybe if I rest. Oh, he's gone. Shit. Okay, well, they. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, I rested and he's gone. Maybe now I'll speak to to Fia. Um, I'll speak to these maidens to see what power we can get from this remembrance for natural born. Bastards, stars, or ash of war, waves of darkness. Plunge armament into the ground to release three waves of darkness. Usable on great axes, great hammers, great spears, and colossal weapons. Interesting. Flail. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! A flail which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of Estelle. Formed by the same many-coloured star debris that comprised the form of the Natural Born of the Void. Nebula skill. Imbue the Natural Born stars with magic to perform a sweeping strike. This attack leaves a dark cloud of stars in its wake that lingers briefly before exploding. Goddamn. Now, go That's crazy. Yeah, don't don't tell the two fingers that I am am married to to Rani, huh? Maybe I'll speak to her now. Uh, you guys see a, uh, oh, hang on, door's open. I was about to, uh, never mind, I'll find her myself. I was about to ask if you guys saw a, a woman who likes to give hugs. We've got a door that's opened. What the fuck?
Did he stab himself with the dagger? What the fuck? Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well. Though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via. Deathbed companion. Hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our lord will rise. The lord of the many and the meek. Ooh, and she's gone. Oh shit, we got D's clothes, we got his armor. What the fuck? So, does that mean fear returning to the dagger? We gave it to D. D sees this and maybe recognizes what needs to be done or something. I'm a bit confused about that. I really thought that... <sighs> okay, I'm not... I'm not sure about this one. So I'm assuming he stabbed himself with the dagger and then... He got taken over by death. He's got like the same shit that was going on with Rogier. And then Fia was like... Bada bing bada boom. Do not disturb those who live in death. Hmm. Hmm. I think we've got a new outfit change that's overdue though now. Helm depicting in entwined twins of gold and silver. The two and the two known as D are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together, not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. Because D's younger brother is in Nocron. This is a note that I have written down. That I, This is what I was expecting for to do with his story, was to like find his, maybe like his younger brother and then... Well, I, I don't know if it's his younger brother, I don't... Yeah, D's younger brother, right, in Nocron, so I'm confusing myself now. Um, so... Hmm... In s the two known as D are inseparable twins, but then the armor longs to find its way to the other D, which is in Nocron. I guess I should go to Nocron and try and find what that means. Such a cool armor piece, though. I'm a fan. I can't put the helmet on without taking my intelligence down, but... What a cool set. Interesting. I... So Fia's gone. No more hugs. So this is the last Baldekin's blessing that we could ever have. And then... D is now dead. I'm really just trying to process this one. D's younger brother in Nocron. Can't even remember... It's on the thing. <laughs> it's on the map. 
D, Beholder of Death, is on the map. Um, is that in the Great Waterfall Basin room? Okay, there you go. We gotta go to Nokron. <clears throat> so I had that note written down ages ago. For D, his younger brother in Nokron, but I guess you have to do this to actually trigger it. Oh, there's a oh, there's a doorway here. So this is where you came out for the boss battle. I never saw this. Hold on. What is this? Oh, this just drops... Okay. That's not necessarily a secret door or anything. That just drops us down where we've been before. Oh! For fuck's sake! This is Dee's younger brother. We literally have walked past him. Oh my god. Hand over the twinned armor set. No! Okay. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I guess it doesn't belong to us. We got to wear it. Damn! Uh. <laughs> 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 But I gave you some really cool looking armor. So he gave us the inner, we got the inner order expression from him, didn't we? I'm sure he'll be very friendly after we do this to him while we're butt badass naked. Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. I'm gonna go to the round table hold now. Oh yeah, there's no map so I, can, I can't see. I was wondering if he'd be here. Now let's go to the body of D. I'll <laughs> put my clothes back on now. <laughs> no, we got D's armor for the shortest amount of time. That's a shame. Body's gone. Don't know if this is a body is gone. Let's try. Nope. Oh, actually, first of all, let's just check the map to see if he's there still. Has moved. Okay, has moved. Was mar marked on the map, which is quite interesting. Journey to the two things you may be. For someone who's all knowing, you certainly don't know th uh, things about all of my questions, sir. And I've got many of them. Okay, I already bought his stuff anyway. Hmm. Where has he gone off to then? Said da. Right. Oh, what did he say? It was like. 
If he was marked on the map, I wonder if he's still marked on the map somewhere. Be nice if you could like filter out only icons of uh, the NPCs. I guess D being marked on the map was because we had spoken to him. Just didn't know that it was him. So I don't expect us to him to just be around. Hmm. Just trying to think if there's like any hints or anything that can like point out to where he'd go. Maybe let's let's see where the body Let's see where he was. Let's see if there's anything that's been left behind. That's another thought. Potentially something has been left behind. In place of that. Otherwise I'm like... Eh, I don't know what else. But we get, we're getting into some cool... Cool questline stuff, which is which is neat. All right, he's just gone. He's just gone. Which means he's he's probably put the armor on and been reunited. But then, where do you think he would go? That's sort of the question of the hour, you know? Where would he go? I guess we'll have to put a pin in that one and come back to that another time. I think we'll have to put a pin in that and, and do it another time. So we've done Ainsel River, we've done the Grand Cloister, the Lake of Rot. There's a Dragonkin soldier in there that we'll probably fight at some point. <laughs> uh, Estelle has been killed. I'm just going to quickly travel to the Bestial Sanctum. To Grank, because that was tied to D. Maybe he might be here. Didn't think he would be, but, you know, it's worth a shot. We need Deathroot for this fella. Um, yeah, no idea. Uh, however, next time on Elden Ring. What I seek to do is explore this upper area here uh, around the the Moonlight Land and we're gonna go check out this one and we're gonna get check out this one so we'll clear this area a bit more have a look at it uh, and then and then I think it's probably a good idea for us to push up this way with that being said and done maybe I'll look through uh, maybe I'll look through Leonia a bit more, figure out Testu's rise, and uh, and see what's going on in in these areas just before we proceed. Just another co uh, comb around the area, and we'll see what we can find. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this area of this area, this episode of Elden Ring. So my brain's a bit scattered. Thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated. I'll see you next time.